trimming small green giants in the field. This is a green giant that has multiple leaders in it. So I'm going to make a decision on which leader to keep and which leader to, to take out. It doesn't have to be a hard trim. A light trim can suffice in this situation. So I stand back, I look at the tree, and I figure out which leader I want to keep and which leader I want to delete. Now I'm going to trim this tree also around the sides, but I'm going to trim it harder on the side where it faces the sun all day because that gets lots of sunlight and the other side does not. So I want to try and attempt to make this tree as uniform as I can through trimming and also give it the appearance that I want and the shape that I want. So I just trim little bits here and there slowly going around the tree to get the shape that I want standing back looking, seeing which branches need trimming, and knocking off little bits at a time. You don't have to cut much. I can cut more than this. The tree will recover. But that should just about do it. From another angle, you'll see that the tree has now one single leader and a nice shape. The last thing left to do here is to go around the base of the tree. That first weed there is a thorn. It has thorns on it, so I'm not going to pull that. I'm going to cut it. But the others I'll just quickly pull out of the way. Keeping the weed control down is important. Because if you keep the weeds out of the bottom of the tree, not only does it help promote growth of the foliage lower on the tree, it also prevents mice from finding a happy home. And if mice are more visible from the air, birds will kill them quicker. And so you'll have better mouse control on your trees if you keep them clean at the base. And yes, I probably should have a hat on for safety, but old dogs don't learn new tricks easily. And there you have it. That arborvitae is pretty well finished trimming. Now some arborvitaes get rubbed by deer. And the next arborvitae I show you will show some hard rubbing by deer and what I do in these cases. As you can see some buck rubs are in, evident in this field. And some of them are pretty severe. This tree here will be a challenge for trimming. But you start in there by looking at that main leader that's been damaged and saying that's got to go. And after that you can make a determination about the rest of the tree. So I'll start in there and I'll just trim that main leader out. It's worthless anyway. Perhaps the rest of the tree is worthless as well. Looking in, I can see that I could possibly trim this to get a tree, but it would be more like a bush than a tree. So I'll just make up my mind and say, heck with it, I'm going to trim this one completely out of the way. It's no use having something that's so badly damaged that it never fully recovers. And getting rid of this tree will allow other trees in the row to get more sunlight. So it really will help the other trees. Not all buckrub trees have to be destroyed. Some can be salvaged. This tree is heavily buckrubbed. However, it can be salvaged. And here's how I do it. I'm going to trim out the bad part of the tree and I'm going to allow one new leader to take over and become the new leader of the tree. The tree will still have some symmetrical nature to it and recover quickly. At Highland Hill Farm, we specialize in screen and shade trees. We also deliver and install to eastern U.S. locations. 
We have a location in Lenore, North Carolina, Fountainville, PA, and Milan, PA. So we service most of the eastern United States. We also have small liners, seedlings, and large trees available. We ship on our trucks or tractor trailers. You can stop in our main location at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA. Or you can also just send pictures of your site if you want us to review site pictures. We'd be glad to do that for you as well. So, don't hesitate. Call us now at 215-651-8329. Thank you.